Hey everyone, Brandon here, and in today's video, we are gonna cover how to be creative. Now, this video is specifically for people who think they're not creative and want to change that. And in this video, we're gonna cover three main things. The first thing is why you struggle to be creative. Second, consumption versus creation. And third, why people are naturally more creative than others. Now, if you've been watching my content for, I'd say, any good amount of time, a lot of my content is built around building businesses with 3D printing and then using 3D printing to create some really cool designs and products. And truthfully, although that is the whole premise of it, like 3D printing on its own is just like, it's its own niche, building a business and learning the skill sets that allow you to build the discipline to build that business is probably something I'm even more passionate about in addition to building some really great products. So when it comes to building a business, you know, we build this business because we want to achieve financial freedom and success. But to have that success and financial freedom, we need to develop discipline. And that discipline allows us to stack the daily habits that allow us to basically move the needle forward. But in order to create some really cool designs and products that get people's attention. Most people, for example, when they get to work or when they start designing or when they want to sell a product, most people think that, you know, some people are just naturally more gifted and talented than, than others, right? Most people think that they'd see someone else who is creating products and selling and who is hyper successful. They think that that person has more talent or that person has a specific niche or thing or some natural competitive advantage. Well, in reality, this idea can feel true, especially when you're comparing yourself to someone else, but this isn't the reality that exists in the real world. Meaning that if you wanna create some really great designs and products, it's actually not about being an artist or just naturally being skilled. It's about developing the disciplines, the habits, and allowing yourself to have creative control so that way you can focus on developing those good products. And what you essentially want to do is create an environment designed to keep you sharp, alert, and focused, and that allow you to stack positive habits daily that allow you to focus on meaningful work. And I'm going to show you some few examples here in a moment, but the main reason why I'm making this video is because for a lot of people, they are, you know, for, for most of us, actually, everyone in this world, right, we are bombarded with distractions, we are bombarded with notifications, we are bombarded with quick impulse, you know, decisions, you know, we are, our attention is basically fleeting for the most part. This, the currency, the number one currency, especially if you want to win in today's economy is whoever can attract the most attention wins and whoever attracts the most attention allows to basically, you know, earn more revenue, earn more money, um, build a business, you know, getting that attention controls the masses, getting the, that attention influences people's decisions. And the thing is, is like, if you're a business owner, you want to protect your attention. You want to protect your, your environment. You want to protect yourself and shield yourself from all the distractions and things that are holding you back from doing the work that matters to you the most. So in, in the point of this video is like, if you want to create great products, if you stuck, if you're stuck creating great designs, or maybe you're not sure what to create and sell, well, it's because you're probably living in a state where you're not allowing yourself to sit and think and think, okay, what does my ideal customer want? What is it that would I create that would benefit other people? What can I do or create or produce that I can sell and that someone would find valuable? And the difference here is like we we want to put ourselves in less of a consumption state and more in a creative state. And naturally, when you do that over time, you start to feel and be more creative where being creative is just the default, whereas consuming for most people is a default. And you don't want to be on the consumption side. You want to be on the creative side. So I'm going to show you some examples, and I want you to just think of what comes to mind when you see these images. So starting with the first image here, very quickly, what comes to mind? And you don't have to answer it right now, but just think like, what's the first, Im what's the first thing that comes to mind? Okay. Now with that said, what's the next thing that comes to mind? Okay. Now what is the next thing that comes to mind once you see this image? Cool. Now you can kind of see the reoccurring patterns here. Now these items here, these things, these products, these foods, 
all of these things are designed for consumption. They are designed to keep you spending the most amount of time consuming more and more and more, which also equates to you spending more and more and more, but that also leads to brain fog, fatigue, low energy, and honestly, low willpower. And for the most part, if you spend, let's just say, you have eight hours screen time on your phone and all you're doing is eating fast food and all you drink is soda and no water. Well, of course, you're going to feel bloated, slow, fatigued, and probably not as creative as you should feel like it. You can't expect someone to run a marathon if, you know, if they're not eating clean. So how can you expect yourself to be creative or think of ideas that could possibly even sell or or build a business of your dreams if you yourself are consuming things that are holding you back or keeping you from being productive? And that's the whole premise of this video. So for the most part, people who consume they consume all the wrong things and that keeps them stuck. And we want to remove ourselves from those things. Now, how do we fix that? How do we remove ourselves from those things? Well, we want to place ourselves in environments and situations where being creative is default, where being inspired is the default, or where doing the work and staying focused on the work is the default. So what do I mean by this? So let me show you some additional examples by this. So I want you to think of the first thing that comes to mind when you see this image here. Whatever that is to your, that comes to mind, just think of it. Like what comes to mind when you see this image? And I'm gonna just zoom in. Right now, what's the next thing that comes to mind when you see this image? How do you feel? Right now, what's the next thing that comes to mind once you see this image? What do you feel? And lastly, what is the next thing that comes to mind when you see this image? What do you feel? Now, with all that said, how do you think you'd feel if you are in environments designed to keep you focused, eating clean foods that don't keep you bloated? No sugary drinks, no processed things. Um, you're in a library, a working workspace, a dedicated environment designed to keep you alert sharp, focused, you're naturally just going to do the work. You're naturally going to be more creative. You're naturally going to start feeling inspired and inspired by definition, right? Is to fill someone with the urge or ability to do something, especially to do something creative. And for the most people, when they think about people that are successful or that make a lot of money or who are, you know, who achieve big things, it's not that this person had some skill set or thing that made them better. It's about the fact that they built the right disciplines that allow them to build the business, build the dream, build the lifestyle that they want. And all they done was stick to the script for an extended period of time, whereas most people would fail on that script within two or three days, heck, sometimes within a week. And it's the same thing with like a New Year's resolution where most people are super dedicated and motivated in the beginning of the year. And then for most people, it tops off and just kind of drops down into like where they either don't do it or it's like a cycle of ups and downs. But the people who are successful, who accomplish big things and who do the things that they want to achieve, they're not looking forward to the new years. They're already doing it. So they already have that momentum going nonstop. And what you want to do is you want to build momentum in your business. You want to build momentum in yourself. And the whole purpose of this video, right, is not to tell you that you should sell a specific product or creating or making something that's going to it's it's rather to get you thinking like look business it's not just about finding an stl file and then printing it on your printer and then just making money it's all about building the right habits and skill sets and building the disciplines that allow you to focus on work work that is meaningful and when you can produce meaningful work you'll naturally make great products and if you naturally make great products then you'll naturally have a successful business right so rather than trying to be creative, just put your in, put yourself in environments where being creative is the default. So remove distractions, put your phone away. Second, turn on D and D airplane mode. My phone is like across this across the room. I can't even reach it. It's on airplane mode. No one can reach me. Like it's impossible. Like I literally have D and D airplane mode turned on. Second or third, keep your workspace clean and simple. This goes for your printers. This goes for your desk. Uh, and obviously, at least clean and simple is subjective to, for most people. But clean and simple means that you know where everything is and you can easily access it. Four, avoid processed and sugary foods. Avoid 
fast food, avoid sugar, avoid putting you know too much into your coffee, right? These simple things, although might be simple, they actually do affect you a lot. Five, daily exercise, whether it's you going to the gym or you at least having some sort of brisk walk for at least 20 to 30 minutes, that's fine too. Eight hours of sleep per night. This is crucial. You want to get at least eight hours per sleep. Actually, for most people, it's going to be more. For me, I need more than eight hours because that's just how I work. And sadly, I need more sleep, but that's an important metric that you need to have. And optional, if you are really into like productivity and deep work and focus, I would highly recommend getting some sort of um, application or software called BrainFM or Endel.io. I'm also going to give you guys a resource uh, here as well to help you guys as well. Um, for example, one here that I use myself is Endel. So I have subscriptions to both. It's not sponsored by them or anything like that, but uh, these are uh, sounds designed to help you stay focused, relax, and sleep. Then there's Brain.fm, which I also have myself. So this is another one. And the main thing I would recommend you guys have is you also recommend also recommend you guys removing your news feed. So whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I know a lot of what a lot of you might be saying, well, Brandon, I don't want to get rid of these social platforms. Well, I'm not telling you to get rid of them, but I'm saying you should remove the things that will keep you distracted, which is like that news feed here. And if you're able to do that, and it kind of looks like this. And if you do that, this allows you to stay focused. So everything literally that I, I primarily use YouTube for the most part, but as you can see, YouTube is like, if I go on YouTube, you won't see anything there. Like it's, it's just blocked. So, um, that's the main thing. And with that said, you want to use these applications to help you stay focused and stay on track. The next thing I want to mention to you guys is this life mastery worksheet. Now this life mastery worksheet is actually simple. It's meant to be simple. It's meant to not overcomplicate tracking and time and productivity. Um, for most planners, apps and things, they, overwhelm you with the amount of features but truthfully there's only a few features that actually matter and what you don't track hasn't happened and if it's not tracked it doesn't exist so um here's how the life mastery worksheet works so what you want to do here is go in within the date and today is july 29th twenty twenty five and then you're gonna want to put in your wake up time today I woke up at seven twenty right and then the work time, I started work at 8 a.m., right? And then by the end of the day or by the end of my work session, which is usually around 12 noon, I would list out my productivity score, one being the lowest, five being the highest. So depending on how productive I was for the day, if I was very productive, then I put in five. If I was somewhat distracted, I would put in three. If I was just like, you know, not feeling my A game or not as great, then I would put in a, a one, right? And let's be honest here, you know, we're humans, we make mistakes, you know, we, um, there's days where you're just not feeling it. There's days where you just, you might be a little bit slower, a little bit, you know, off and that happens, but that productivity score here keeps us on the rails. So for example, let's just say if you, you know, like maybe let's just say, for your productivity score, right? Let's just say you, I went to bed like at 2 a.m., right? And then my wake up time here tomorrow was 7.20 a.m. And that day, if I let this in my productivity score, let's just say my productivity score was two. Well, there's gonna be a clear correlation that I only had five hours of sleep. So my productivity score is very likely to be low. So what you wanna do with your sleep is that you wanna fix it because your productivity score and how well you do in terms of doing great work is directly correlated to how much sleep you get. So the more sleep you get, the better you perform, the better you perform, the more work or more meaningful work you do. And the more meaningful work you do, the more fulfilled you'll be, right? So my point with this is you wanna track this. In addition to this, whether or not I went to the gym, yes, right? And there you go. And then by the end of the day, log in your um, time when you went to, went to bed and there you go. Now, the cool thing about this is like, it's so simple that all you need to do is just bookmark it on your browser. And this should be the first thing you wake up and see in the morning. So for example, for me, instantly when I get to my computer, this is the first thing I fill out. The first thing I don't check school, schools, uh, my 3d printing community specifically to design and sell 3d printed products. I don't check social media, you know, I don't check 
you know, any of my social media platforms, checking notifications, checking the comments. I don't do any of that. I go straight to this. I fill this out right away. Either I fill it out the day of during bedtime or right before bedtime or the next day. So for example, if I fill this out the next day, July 30th, since tonight's the 29th, then I would fill out what happened yesterday. And that way I have a log and record of what's going on over the next 30, 31 days, right? And then once you want to duplicate the month, just duplicate it, remove the dates and times, and then just type in month two. And this is meant to keep it simple. So that way it's not like, you know, it's not matching the years and dates. So that way, you know, this is that way, this doesn't have to be updated every single year. Cause obviously there's a different dates for, um, like Monday on Monday next year is not the same as today, Monday. Right? So my point with this video is like, you want to track everything and what you track in your personal life will also reflect in your business and bad personal habits will reflect in your business and bad personal habits will basically be in bad business, bad, bad business, bad finances, bad finances means that life goes to crap, right? And we want to fix that. So go in ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in this worksheet down below in the description, use this worksheet. So if you want to be more creative, if you want to do more meaningful work, and if you want to feel inspired to do more, to achieve more, to create really great stuff and products, that's going to mean that you're going to have to remove these distractions, turn on D and D, keep your workspace clean, avoid sugary processed foods, daily exercise, eight hours of sleep and, or, um, any sort of software or music to help you keep, stay focused. And if you do that every single day, over time, you'll stack these habits and especially more so since you're stacking these habits and you're tracking them, you'll start to see the difference in how you feel, how you think, how you view the world. And you'll naturally want to let, you know, you'll naturally just want to stop consuming more of it. Like you'll naturally want to stop consuming processed foods. You'll naturally want to stop using social media. You naturally want to stop, you know, doing anything that isn't meaningful to you. So that's my whole point with this video. I know it's more of a tangent kind of rant kind of thing, but my main thing here is that like 3d printing is just one side of it building a business is just one side of it the biggest side of it is you optimizing yourself holding yourself accountable and building the disciplines that allow you to stay focused on meaningful work so with that said i hope you found this video insightful and informative if you want to check out 3d printing school and want to learn how to design and sell your own 3d printed products check out the link in the description additionally if you want to get access to the life mastery worksheet i'll also leave that down below in the description as well but with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.